place. The train leaving from St. Joseph's College of Commerce is going to arrive at platform number 1C. Please stand away from the platform edge. Las Ventures Association Productions. Present to you. PMRCL. Nama Metro. SWOT Analysis. Metro Rail Corporation Limited, BM Marcy, a joint venture of the Government of India and the Government of Karnataka, built and operates the Namma Metro. Namma Metro is the second longest operational metro network in India after the Delhi Metro. It also consists the first ever underground metro line in South India. Phase 1 of Namma Metro consists of two lines. East-West line or the purple line and North-South line or the green line. Both these lines cross at the Kempe Gauda metro station intersection. Strengths of Namma Metro Few of the shortlisted strengths of Namma Metro are It is cost efficient. It reduces congestion. It reduces atmospheric pollution. It has ultra-modern technology. It has 100% punctual operations. It has a good infrastructure and above all, it has all-day service, right from 5 a.m. in the morning to approximately 11.30 in the night. Now, here are a few opinions from the public about the strengths of Namma Metro. Metro, of course, has made our life uh, easier. I like the weather waiting for the ladies compartment and all that. And then it's easier to travel here, it's faster, like you don't get stuck in the uh, thing. And it's timely, it's like, it comes on time, you don't have to like, go. it's not actual like possible anyway. Metro is very convenient. Reliable, convenient, time saving, <laughs> yeah. Connectivity and affordable. Metro uh, over here, uh, uh, the ambience is good. I'm really enjoying this. Uh, Fast mode of car transport from one place to another. Which takes like around two and a half hours from my from by road from Indira Nagar to Nimshi. The second thing is the cleanliness that they maintain the how they maintain the trains. It's convenient. They don't push around. They maintain a certain dignity while getting out and getting into it. I think ease of travel. I think it is uh, fantastic. The end of selections of the stations are really good. So the connectivity is really good. Traffic that we have in Bangalore, metro makes a big difference in people's lives. Thanks to Namma Metro. Huh? Weaknesses of Namma Metro. Costlier when compared to BMTC, problem of land acquisition, less city, high development cost, it displaced many economically backward people, it has a very slow construction and it has network issues. Let us hear to the public about their opinions about the weaknesses of Namma Metro. It's always cloudy. Early in the morning sometimes, I think you need more frequency of uh, Metro. Other than that, the thing I do like about this is in the morning when I enter the train, like if suppose if I met this train, there's another train only 15 minutes later. My bus I can reach the place in 15 minutes, but if I don't have to wait for the metro for 15 minutes. So I feel there should be more frequency in the morning. Opportunities of Namma Metro. Large number of tenders connecting the corners of the city and the IT hubs of the city. Revenue from advertisements social investors, potential for higher ridership and job creation. Threats to Namma Metro Security threats, labor union fights, loss on public holidays, risk of cost overruns and natural calamities. A short analysis on the functional area of Namma Metro of finance. The total cost of the phase 1 of the Namma Metro project was 14,000 crores. The Karnataka government contributed 5,000 crores. The central government contributed 6,000 crores and the remaining 3,000 crores by various financial institutions. On 3rd January 2012, the government of Karnataka approved a budget of 27,000 crores. The central and the state governments will fund 30% and 20% of the total project cost of phase 2 respectively. The remaining amount will be obtained from senior term loans. 
the Asian Development Bank and the European Investment Bank are the two global investors of this project. Indian firms Biocon and Infosys announced that they would provide funding for the construction of the Hebagodi and Electronic City metro stations respectively on the Outer Ring Road metro line. Infosys gave approximately 200 crores and Biocon gave 100 crores and in return these two IT hubs will have an exclusive station for themselves. With all these mega constructions, high management operations and large operational costs, Metro still had to be highly cost effective mode of transportation. For this various commercial spaces were created in the Metro stations. Advertising revenues were created to cross subsidize the trouble, it created opportunities to entrepreneurs and made Metro an affordable operation. To make fare collection easy and effective, automatic fare collection systems are installed in every station. An additional 15% discount is given to commuters who use the Metro smart card and up to 3000 amount can be loaded into these smart cards. The minimum cost for one station is 8 rupees and the maximum cost from Yelchenali to Naksandra is 60 rupees. Now let us go on a round through various metro stations on the purple line and explore the various places around these stations. Dominates here. Thank you for riding with us. Hope you had a joyful ride. And presenting to you the number crew, the crew behind this project.